Hi guys, it's Miss Shopslot and I have another yard sale haul. Um, I had to cut some of the jewelry down and I'll put it in other videos because I just found entirely too much this day and it's just too much to video in one video. So we'll just do random because it's all pretty random. Oh wait, I got close. You know what, let me do show this so that I can get this out of the way. Let's get this. So this was like the first thing I saw at a garage sale. It is a Simply Southern. Let me back it up. It's a Simply Southern, um, like a bog bag. And this one was like, it was $5 for the entire thing. It's all brand new. And this, I feel like was close to like $65, $70 by itself. And then it has the, and that's what that looks like inside. And then it has the Simply Southern cooler bag that you can put inside of it. And again, brand new with tags. So I was excited about this. Um, that is my new cooler bag for $5. I was like, yep, I will take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, oops. So I grabbed that for five. All right, we'll do clothes. Um, I got some thrifted, some um, garage sale. It's so much fun um, now that I've lost some weight shopping. Like I'm just, I'm just having so much with having so much fun with clothes lately. Um, being able to wear more things that I want. Um, so the first thing was this Lacoste black hoodie. This is looking all faded. It's not. Um, this is just for me knocking around the house or whatever. Um, I picked that up for myself. That was $7 from a thrift store. This was also seven. And this is a Norma Kamali white button down, brand new with tags. It is called the boyfriend shirt. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or sell it. Uh, this Norma Kamali is a very expensive brand. So I picked that up. I thought this was super cute. I picked this up for me. It's giving clueless. Um, it was $7. It is Laura by Elysia. And stuff like this, if I don't wear it, I just take it to my consignment shop. Um, but... The buttons, the Chanel-esque look with the pink and blue plaid. I just thought this was so cute. And then the puffy sleeves. We'll see. I love it. We'll see. <laughs> um, this I bought to resell. This I paid up for. This was 15 but it is a brand new with tags. Um, good American maxi dress this i will be reselling again if you're ever interested in anything feel free to email me at askmishopslot at gmail.com these i love spanx pants i have a couple pairs of the black faux leather pants and one that are kind of like uh, motorcycle pants i guess and these are the green snakeskin pants these suck you in. Amazing. I don't know if I'm going to keep these ones or not. Um, I don't know if... I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to try them on. But I've worn, like... I wore my black ones with a Rolling Stones t-shirt. It was really cute. This... Okay, these are two things. This was also thrifted. This was $6. $6 actually really like this guy so I picked this up for myself and this is a yellow wolf t-shirt and again these this would look cute with a pair of leggings that's usually what I wear mine with this I picked up at a garage sale this was oh her clothes were so cheap this was I think a dollar or two dollars at the most she had a North Face parka that was gorgeous for five bucks. Somebody got it before I did. But I did get 
this. And this is Mastermind by Japan. And this is a pretty expensive hoodie. A couple hundred dollars. It's got the sequins there, or rhinestones there. It's got the sequin crop scar ugh, skull and crossbones on the arms and the front and then the back is just plain and this actually fits me so I think I'm going to wear it at least once um again this will look cute with those leather leggings I'm going to wear this at least once before I sell it because it is too cute this I picked up because it's very Chanel looking to me I love this with a cami and some gold jewelry. This I paid up for 13. It is a leather like blazer jacket with the pockets. It looks so cute on. Um, this runs very small and I've noticed that vintage clothes either run really small or really big because I also bought a red one that'll be in another video that's a size <laughs> 10 and fits perfect and that one's a size 16 and fits perfect so go figure um okay that's all i have for clothes all right now we'll do shoes and then random i picked these up were these these were from a garage sale these were i think two bucks uh they are the silver adidas samoa they just need to be cleaned they're not in terrible condition they haven't been worn a lot and i can get these looking brand new again and I like this silver accent. I haven't decided if I will be keeping or selling because I have been getting a lot of cute sneakers lately so I gotta give up some. These were 10 and they are <coughs> Tory Birch. Cute little wedge. Clean these up. These I picked up so my daughter bought these for me brand new on the website. These are Steve Madden's and she paid $100 for mine. These are like in excellent condition. These were 10. Um, they do need to be cleaned up. But again, these are super easy cleans. And these are such a cute sneaker. Again, my daughter bought these on the website for 100, 100 and something. These are an eight and a half. And I remember you do have to upsize on these Steve Maddens because they um, run small, but they're so cute. So I don't know if I'm going to keep them or not. Where, I, think, I think the ones she bought me are around here somewhere. Uh, oh, we got some more sneakers the, or shoes. These were $2. I bought them because I figured I could probably, I'd probably wear them once. But now I'm like, I don't know. But they're really cute either way and I could resell them. They were $2. They're kind of fun. I don't know. Still has the receipt in here. When did she purchase them? I don't want to put all her business out here. Um, Let's see. She paid $20, I believe. Is that what they say? $20? $19.99. And she bought them... Four years ago. Three years ago. In 2021. <laughs> but they're cute. They look really cute on. I thought a pair of jeans. Like a light wash jean. A nicer jean. And no rips or anything. Those and like a white silky top. Is what I would wear with those. So we'll see. For two bucks I was like I'll get them. If I don't wear them I'll resell them. All right. Then we have, so I went to this one, I walked up to this one garage sale and the guy was just knuckles deep in, what is this, Avon? Yeah, Avon samples, you know, like the little, not even, uh, the ones that came on, I feel like they almost came on like a little piece of like cloth or something and you wiped it on. Anyways, there was a whole big bin of them and he was like going through each one and I was looking at these because I know sometimes, um, vintage Avon or whatever can be worth money. So as I'm looking them up, he was like, oh yeah, they're not worth anything. None of those are worth anything. And I was like, oh, okay. And these, I paid $3 a piece, are worth like $25 to $30 a bottle and they're brand new. And he wound up buying all of the um, uh, samples. And like he paid, like, I don't know, 10 cents a piece for them. So I think there was like, 50 and he was like you know would you take 
four fifty for forty f- instead of five dollars, whatever it was. But I'm like, really? You bought all those? Is there a market for those that I don't know about? Maybe. But I picked those up to resale. This is Orlando Pita Play uh, hair protecting spray. I don't have any. I ran out, so I just picked this up for myself. This was fifty cents. This was also fifty cents, and it is Color Luster Oil by TG. I really like TG, so I'm gonna try. If it's cheap enough, I buy it like that, and then if it does, if I don't like it or whatever, I just resell it at my own garage sale. Uh, this I paid three dollars for, and it is a Citizen Echo Drive watch, which I thought for three bucks was a really good deal. It is a female watch, and it has the Oyster. Mother of Pearl back. It's beautiful. And it works. I don't know why it was only $3. But for $3, I picked that up. And I will be reselling that. I have my own. Okay. 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 So I do have something that I was super excited about. I did not jump on the fad to buy a Stanley Cup. I am usually involved in all of the fads. But I just was like, eh. I don't really care about a Stanley Cup. I'm going to skip this one out. I love my Yetis, and I probably have 10, 15 different Yetis. And Starbucks mugs, oof, not the mugs, the tumblers, don't get me started. And I don't use them because they don't keep your drinks as cold. So, anywho, I did come across one, and I did buy it. It was $5. And it's the Stanley. For $5. All day long, I will buy myself a Stanley. I just had to. I mean, it looks like she barely used it. I just had to buy um, a lid, and I got a lid that matches this pink color. So, yay! I'm part of the Stanley crew now. Okay, speaking of glasses, I picked this one up for my daughter. And it's this cute little Bratz pint glass. Um, I think I paid $2 for this. I picked this up for my daughter. She will love that. Um, and then, you know, maybe I'm going to do, I'll do everything except for the jewelry. I'll do the jewelry last because I got the most of that. Um, I didn't have a lot of purses in this particular video, but next one will have a bunch more purses. Oh, this was from the place that had the $3 Echo Watch and it was free. It is a tint my four tip brow in this brown color brown, blondish brown which i will give to one of my besties because they all are blondes i am the brunette of the crew and then il maquillage i have been wanting to try the actual makeup um the foundation it looks so good in the videos um, if you have any recommendations on that, if you've tried, if you got any reviews, let me know. But this is just, these are just black eyeliner, um, brand new, 50 cents a piece. Can't have enough black eyeliners. Um, I use them all the time. And right now my favorite is, because I have, I always use a wing eyeliner, or make a wing with my eyeliner. And I bought one that has a stamp on the end, which makes the tips so much easier making the cat eye so yeah all right then we have this she's dirty she needs a bath i think i'm just gonna spray her down with dawn dish soap and throw her into the washing machine she's got color transfer or dirt i don't know but i'm gonna we're gonna hook her up throw her in and this was six bucks it is authentic long shot Yeah, I think she'd be fine going in the wash. I think it'll be fine. I won't put it in the dryer, but I'll definitely spray it down with some stain, with some, yeah, because this is all, I'm going to spray it, let it soak, and then throw it into the washing machine with um, Dawn dish soap. All right, this, what is this? Oh, okay. This is from a garage sale. It was a Gucci, it's a Gucci sunglass case. I paid 50 cents for this. Um, hang on tight. 
I don't know if this stuff was all from the same one, but these I know were 50 cents each. This is something you hang from your car, but I thought he would be so cool to make a necklace out of. He was a, this one was a quarter. I know that. So I picked him up to make a necklace out of. Oh, these were from Miss Kyla. She saw these at a grad sale and picked them up and sent them to me. Thank you. I believe these are the ones. Thank you. I love them. They are amazing. She knows me well. Uh, then I picked this. I don't know. I don't remember why I picked this up or, or what, but there's that. This is sterling, and this was a quarter. These were also a quarter, and they're sterling. These must be able to come off. And then this, yep, this one is sterling as well. It looks like a nail head, or a nail bent into a ring. Again, if you're interested in anything except for the earrings from Kyla, everything in this video, for the most part, is for sale. I picked these Burberry sunglasses up for $5. They do have scratches, but the frames themselves are in really good condition. And I will take these to Walmart and have my prescription put into these. And then I will have a pair of Burberry aviators. I wish they were gold. I really need a pair of aviators that are gold. But um, yeah, it's $5 and then it costs $100 to put your prescription into sunglasses. This was 50 cents. I thought this was so cool. It's a little wallet picture, whatever this still has. She's got a let's see, Mr. Turkey. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know what these are. Anyways, I just thought that was really funky. And it's brass plate on the back for 50 cents. Oops. Okay. This was a dollar. And it still has a full lifetime warranty. Italian Sterling Company, New York, New York. And it is a sterling silver bangle bracelet. It definitely needs to be shined up, but it's in beautiful condition. It just, it's just from sitting. It got some tarnish on it. Um, I don't even know where to start. This was a dollar. I've got a lot of these now. I have to I have to slim back on some because I have too many. I don't know if this one was Whiting and Davis or not. It's definitely vintage and well made. And it is this white snake belt or necklace. I wear it as a necklace. Um, I usually wear it wrapped around my neck. And then the tail falling between my chichis. So I don't have a white one. I have a silver one. I have a gold, few gold ones. These were, okay, so this was $2. And this is a whole set of 1928. The necklace and two pairs of earrings. So I will be reselling these. The hummingbirds, the rose necklace, and the two rose earrings and pearls. This one, what was this one? This, this one's gold. This was $2. And it is a pair of earrings. And a necklace. The earrings, I think, are peridot with a diamond in the middle. And they are marked. I can't... I got to get my loop back up here. 
They're either 10 or 14. I don't remember. I already looked. Wait, hang on. Yeah, I can't see. But they're, they're either 10 or 15. 10 or 15. 10 or 14 carat. So for $2, that is an amazing deal. So we picked that up. Um, this little guy was 50 cents. I think this is so pretty. It is a little cloisonne apple trinket box. And I will be selling this. Um, everything I believe was either a quarter or 50 cents that was here. So I bought a bunch of different random things. These are sterling silver. That I took the thing off my light and now it's glaring anything. So I take these off. Anyways, nine two five, <laughs> five sterling. And with some pearls and some gorgeous crystals. This is Lucky Brand. I thought that was really fun. Sometimes Lucky Brand's sterling. This I don't believe is, but sometimes they are. No, that's not... Uh, this she threw in for free. She was like, I don't even know what that is or where it came from, but you can just have it. It's a crystal, uh, per or gift. I think you could loop a necklace through that and wear it. When I went shopping this day, this entire, um, cooler bag that I bought was almost full of jewelry. So it was a good jewelry day. I have a whole big box bag full of it. Uh, this I thought was pretty vintage. It's plastic, but I still, it's just something about it. I thought it was really pretty. This one, is this one 1928? This is 2028. Where is it? I don't think I had seen 2028 yet, but I thought it was really pretty with that blue stone. So I don't know if 2028 new, it must be because I've never heard of it. Um, again, these were all a quarter and this is another cool little vintage guy. This one, again, vintage. This one is glass beads. It's beautiful. The blues and greens. This one is... I don't think this is marked anything, but... I thought it was pretty with the gold and the silver. Last weekend was a really good weekend for garage sales. This weekend's not looking that great. Uh, these little stretchy shell bracelets I thought were pretty. They're brand new. This is, this I don't know who this is, but it has the necklace with the matching stretchy bracelet, and then it's got a pretty little silver ball hanging there. This, I think, is, um, uh, dang it, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Anyways, it's carved ring out of, damn, I don't remember the name of it. Sorry. But it's so cool. 
I'd say it's like a six and a half. Oh, it's right on top of my tongue. Drives me nuts. Okay, and then this is the last one, and these again are glass beads. This is really pretty, the colors, the pink, light pink and purple. So for a quarter piece, I could not leave these behind. And last but not least from that sale, I paid 50 cents for this pretty tray. It is quadruple plated New York 506. I just thought it was really pretty with the flowers. And it's a beautiful place to throw some jewelry in. And last but not least, we have this bag. I always get excited when I see stuff in boxes, when people, oh, you can't see. When people do their hauls and they got stuff in boxes, I'm always like, oh, it's in the box, it's in the box. Um, okay. I'm just trying to remember. So these were a little bit more expensive. These were a dollar a piece for the stuff that was outside, and these ones were all individually marked. This is an amethyst stretch bracelet. Really pretty. Um, this, I th think, is Swarovski, but I'm not positive. Um, I grabbed them either way. There's two of them. Oh, wait, is this a bracelet? This might be a bracelet. Yeah, this is a bracelet. And this is a necklace. I don't see any markings, but I don't know if they were all marked or not, so I wasn't sure. Um, I picked this one up. I wasn't sure if this was going to be sterling or not, but it's just a guy's stainless steel chain. Still nice for a dollar. Um, or women's, whatever. I picked that up. Probably women's. It's kind of short. This is sterling. Bracelet. And this... I was not sure if it was real or not, and sometimes you just have to grab and buy and hope. Um, but either way, it is still a pretty, it's not, it's still a pretty paperclip style necklace. So I picked that up. These are both sterling. This one is amethyst, and this one is Mother of Pearl and I believe Onyx. Both 925. And oh, this was three. Yeah, the stuff that wasn't in boxes or bags were more expensive. And this is. I believe this is sterling. I don't, it might not be a sterling clasp, but. I thought this was so pretty, especially for fall with a matching bracelet. They remind me of Beanie Bots. I, I know they're all different gemstones but or, and stones, but it just reminded me of Beanie Bots. I thought it was cool. So I picked that set up. This was $4 for the box. And in here we have... These fun little gun earrings. This pearl, sterling silver, pearl necklace. It's so pretty, look at the details. I believe this is Mexican made, but I could be wrong. And lastly, 
These are the cutest little thing. I think these are sterling. I'm not positive. Um, I'd have to double check. But, oh, they're little, they're little sloth earrings. Oh, they're so cute. They're little sloth earrings. I could, yes. So it was $4 for that box. This box was five. And this box is a sterling. So this is sterling, right? Yeah. This beautiful sterling silver. I think this is white um, turquoise or white buffalo. I'm not positive what that one is, but so pretty. And a pair of matching earrings. So I believe it's white turquoise, but I could be mistaken. I will definitely look into it after this video. I don't even remember what's in that box, so I'm doing it later. Last. <laughs> um, this set was $8. I think I asked if she'd take four. Or, I'm not, sorry, not four, five. Um, I don't know if this is sterling or not. Let me look. Don't see any markings, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's gorgeous. Hold on. <laughs> it is a CZ for sure. Let me see if there's marked on there. A CZ. And pearl necklace that is gorgeous with matching earrings. It is a beautiful, beautiful set. So, I mean, oh, look at the CZs on this is gorgeous, though. Very sparkly, and that's what matters to me. I don't care if it's real gold, silver, whatever. It's got to be sparkly Susie's. All right, this last but not least, I don't remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> this was, I think she had 20 and I didn't see this and asked her how much she wanted and she said five. But then when I got to the car, I seen that it said 20 and anyways, it's a brand new Coach Poppy bracelet. Super cute, very Y2K. So I will be selling that and that's my haul if you guys are interested in anything feel free to send me a message at askmashapsalat at gmail.com um and if not thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time as always like comment share subscribe bye